Hi everyone, today I'm doing a review of the new Revlon HD lipsticks. I've got two of these lipsticks. I think they've just launched in Japan sometime last week. Um, they come in a silver and transparent packaging like this. Let me just show you. So this is a close-up of the packaging. And as you can see, the bullet kind of juts out a little bit. These lipsticks have a flat slanted tip. I'm not very thrilled with the packaging. I personally like the packaging of the Colorburst range more. Most of the packaging is color coded so you can easily tell uh, the shades apart. It's not really as colorful, as catchy and personally I don't like it that much. It's not bad, it's quite sturdy and everything but it just uh, doesn't really attract me. Another thing I don't love about the packaging is that um, the bullet uh, it's not the best shape. I personally like a slightly, um, you know, a sharper tip or something. It's just easier to do the outer corners uh, when you have like a pointed bullet shape. Also, the bullet kind of juts out of the packaging. It doesn't swivel all the way down. When you're closing the lipstick, you end up with a little bit of product on the sides of the cap if you're not very careful. So that's one thing I don't like. Uh, coming to the formula, these have a really creamy texture. Um, they have a slightly glossy finish. Most of the shades seem to have a little bit of fine shimmer. It's not a very frosted, heavy shimmer look, but I think that's kind of part of the HD part of the range, that it has a slight bit of shimmer these lipsticks have like medium color payoff they're not super duper pigmented but they're not sheer either uh, you get quite a bit of color in a single swipe i'm wearing the shade tulip today and i did like two swipes to get the amount of color so this shade tulip doesn't give me like complete coverage um, they're not like fully opaque they're slightly on the translucent side so if you have very pigmented lips it's better to use some kind of a neutral lip liner underneath as a base uh, to even out the pigmentation before using the lighter colors the darker colors like this red i have here um, you don't really need something underneath because they have a little more opacity i was hoping these would be quite moisturizing because they had like a really creamy texture and i thought they're going to be really you know softening and comfortable to wear they are comfortable to wear but they're not super moisturizing um, I applied the, the lighter color on slightly dry lips yesterday and it didn't really soften up my lips that much it looked a little patchy the wear time sort of varies between the colors the lighter shade like tulip wears for around three to four hours while the darker shade gladiolus the red color wears a little longer it's it stains the lips a little bit so um, the color stays on the lips longer i wore the red shade yesterday and it stayed on my lips for a good like four to five hours but the lighter colors stay for around maybe three hours i'm just going to swatch these on the back of my hand so you can see the shades so these are the swatches i have got tulip over here which is a coral color and gladiolus which is a red color I'm just going to remove this one and put on um, the red color and show you how that looks on me. So this is what the red one looks like on me. This is the shade Gladiolus. These have a really delicious smell. Um, they smell like caramel, vanilla, cream, very deserty, very delicious. And they also have like a mild sweet taste. So that's nice because it's really very uncomfortable when a lipstick has like sort of a plasticky very chemical kind of taste it's not like i actively taste my lipsticks but sometimes you know you just end up tasting your lipstick without really meaning to and it's just nice if it doesn't uh taste unpleasant i think this red one is definitely much better in terms of formula than the coral one um it feels much smoother it feels more hydrating and it definitely looks much nicer like even if you have a bit of dryness it doesn't emphasize the dryness it doesn't sort of make your lips look flaky and patchy that is my review view of the Revlon HD lipsticks. I'm not completely in love with these. I do like a lot of the Revlon lip products but um, these kind of left me slightly underwhelmed. The packaging is kind of okay. I kind of prefer the more colorful packaging of the Colorburst range. Um, the texture is really nice. They're really creamy, really smooth. There's no dryness or anything. They have a slightly creamy finish. So the lips have a nice healthy looking finish. Moisturization wise, these are about average. They're not super moisturizing. They're not drying either. Um, I would have liked these to be a little more moisturizing because the formula is really creamy 
money and when you first apply this um, you kind of or when you first swatch these you're kind of expecting um, something that really softens and hydrates the lips the lighter shade wears for around three hours and the darker color is like four to five hours so overall i like these but i don't love these i don't really get the hd part of it so that is my review of the Revlon HD lipsticks. Um, I hope you found this useful and if you have tried these, let me know what you think of these, which shades you picked up in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye.